Well, today I thought I would share with you some products that I just can't live without. I use all of these on almost a daily basis. Some of them are very inexpensive. Some of them are a little bit more high end, but nevertheless, I find them indispensable. So let me, let me, st and there, are, it's important for me to point out, these are in response to lots of questions that you guys ask me. And probably one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, what shade of lipstick do I wear? Well, I wear all different shades of lipstick, and at some point I will do, I don't want to even call it a tutorial because I'm no expert, but I'll show you what kind of skincare products I use and what kind of makeup products I use. But in response, as a little, as a little tease, because so many of you ask about what shade of lipstick or what kind of lipstick I use, these could not, these could not be less expensive, you guys. And I use other brands, obviously, but probably my go-to brand is just Wet n Wild. You can find this at almost any of your drugstores. What I tend to do for the, for the colors that are a little bit more difficult to find, um, for example, I love uh, this Cherry Balm, and I like, uh, what's another one that I like? violet shine some that are a little bit more difficult for me to find or i can't find them because they're sold out I'll, I'll get off of amazon but these are so inexpensive you guys they're almost like testers and they're gosh i don't know maybe you guys can tell me they're one or two dollars something like that but they're just wonderful and i buy them in bulk and i know what colors i like and so i can have one in my pocketbook i can have one in my bathroom i can have one in my travel case and i just find them indispensable and then i also do use a lip liner and it is also a wet and wild one and i'll try to put links to all of these and it is i hope it's still available 666 brandywine it's it's wet and wild i have i don't know how many of these and I've used it for years and these are like a dollar a piece or something and it's not that I, I haven't tried more expensive ones but I just find something that I like and to make my life easier I just buy them in in quantities that um, I can afford because they're so inexpensive. So there is kind of one broad category of things that I can't live without, and that is wet and wild lipsticks and lip, lip pencils. Now let me go on to my number two item I can't live without. Well, I am a girl that loves her hoop earrings. I think you guys know that about me. I think they are part of my signature look, and I really like these fat, chunky ones. The gold ones I got from Madewell, uh, they were probably the most expensive of all of them, but I also got these, these silver chunky ones. I got these off of Amazon, they were inexpensive. And then least expensive of all were these acrylic ones that I got at Walmart. And they're all practically identical. They're just in different finishes. If ever I don't know what earrings I wanna wear, or if I just want something that's just a real pop of sparkle and um, metallic, metallic shine. These are my go-to earrings and I always take them if I don't want to really mess and fuss with a lot of different kinds of jewelry and things when I travel or whatever. These are my go-to earrings and, and again we'll try to put some links to them but if I could only have you know maybe one kind of earring it would definitely be a hoop earring. So that is my number two item that I find absolutely indispensable. Well, I have always been infatuated kind of with paper goods and stationary items ever since I was I was little and my husband's father owned an office supply store and a bookstore when he was younger. So I love I, I love notebooks that are that aren't, aren't too prim and proper and kind of fussy and flowery. And so I love these just brown covered notebooks. You get them, they come in a set. And then separately, I buy these elastic bands to keep them closed and keep them secure in case I tuck anything inside of them. And I use these on a daily basis to kind of just record all of my different thoughts because I always have, like you probably, you've got your home life, your work life, your personal life, You've just got so many categories that you have to keep track of and that you have to 
uh, you just have to record your your creative ahas for. And so that's what I use these books for. So you can see that I've got a notebook um, on QVC. I've got this one I, I kept when I was working on my book and I wanted I wanted just I would think of something and I wanted some some place to just record some inspirational um, out, output for me and I would record it in one of these books. And then I've got one that is just considered personal and this is where I keep things like measurements for my family, sizes, um, okay. For example, like in here, I have notes from a book that I really liked with with quotations. Um, and I even, uh, and I'll record what page they were on. This one I keep by my bed so that I can make notations as I read and that's typically in my bed at night or ideas that oh here the first page one is how to have a conversation I, I saw this in I don't know in a podcast heard it in a podcast or or something and I wanted to make notes on how to have a conversation a lot of mine tend to be kind of self-improvement things or books that I want to read, stuff like that. So I think I can't remember how many come in a package all at once. I'll definitely put a link, but I just love their really kind of, of simple, common, good looks, and they work for me and they help me stay organized. So maybe they'll work for you. Let's move on to my next indispensable product. Well, I think you guys know that I love my candles, especially when I meditate in the morning. And I have used lots of different varieties and brands of candles over the years. But this one I especially love because it reminds me of my friend that lives in California that produces these soy wax candles. I especially like this scent, which is white oak, and there's another one, I can't remember the name of it, something fur, because they smell like nature. And I keep one of these in my bathroom, and I keep one down here where I meditate. Most of my tapers and things aren't scented, and I, but especially around the holidays, I kind of, I really want something that's a little bit more special. Consequently, these are a little bit more expensive, but to me they're, I think it's one of the secrets of adulthood that really good candles matter. So I, periodically I will splurge and I'll buy several of these from um, from this, com this company, Back Road Candle Company. I've showed it a number of different times. I am very loyal to their brand. I really like the work that they do. It's a family business. And so this is one of my go-to candles. I always have one of these on hand, um, one that's burning, and then I also like to give them as gifts. So a really good quality scented candle to me is a must-have and I use it daily. So here are some more products that, some of which I can't live without. They're indispensable to, indispensable to me on a daily basis. Others I just recently discovered and I really like them. And I discovered these sensor uh, strip lights that come on when you access a certain area. Stuart, did you see that come on? These I keep underneath my bar and in areas where it's just it's just too dark underneath there. I've got one on this side and I've got one on this side. Now what I love about these you guys is that and you can you can set them so that they're on constantly or that the sensor is activated and they come on when it when it shows movement and then they go off over a period of time. But what I love about these, you guys, is that they're rechargeable. So they come with just a charger and you can recharge them. You don't have to replace batteries or anything like that. And then how they hook is underneath, there's a little bracket that is magnetized and you just stick it up there. They are so easy to apply. They're, they're, they're really just wonderful and they're inexpensive. I discovered these over the holidays and I really like them. So these are the sensor activated strip lights for areas that are typically just dark and you need a little bit more illumination. So that is another item that I find just extremely helpful. Okay. Probably the one product that I use on an absolute daily basis, and I, and I have to confess you guys, I was really late to the party on this one. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have them when my boys were growing up. I, I, 
I guess I was just old school and I just would always use a broom or a whisk broom or something, but that is a really good dust buster. And I have had different ones over the years, but by far my favorite dust buster is this Black & Decker 16 volt lithium battery operated. I sound like a, like, um, I don't know, like I'm on late night TV or something, but I, I just really love this one, partly because I'm always clipping things for my topiary. They're wonderful for crumbs. They just, uh, I, they, they're just, all, I don't have to sell you guys on this. You guys know that it's another secret of adulthood that a really good dust buster is indispensable. And if you've got, if you've got, um, you know, kiddos that are just starting to set up a household or or they're moving into a new home or a new apartment i would even say into a dorm room then i think a really good dust buster is just absolutely invaluable and as i said i have used many different kinds many different brands over the years and i love this black and decker one so there's another secret to adulthood you definitely need to have a really good dust buster in your life let's move on to the next one well, we all have to do laundry and we're probably, most of us are very loyal to certain products. And I certainly understand that. And if you're loyal to a certain product, I, I do not want to dissuade you from your brand loyalty. But I have discovered recently, because I was concerned about just how much plastic is being used in containers and I'm trying to do what I can. I'm not an absolutist, but I am trying to do what I can to really reduce the amount of plastic in my life and because of that I started using these drops pods and they come you can get them on a subscription basis let me see if I can get this open you can get them on a subscription basis from drops.com I get them off of Amazon but they're wonderful they are just these little gel packs and you just toss one into the washing machine even the packaging that they come to you in is cardboard and it's recyclable and I just really like them I love their mission statement and I love everything about the product and you can get some of them I think are scented lavender uh, what's this one this one is scent clean and crisp but they do a good job now to give them a little bit of extra extra oomph. This was something, again, that I'm embarrassed to say that I learned later in, <laughs> later in life, but it's another secret of adulthood, and that is Dawn liquid detergent to get out grease stains on your clothing. And all of us dribble a bit when we eat. We just kind of make a mess. Stuart, I know you never Some do. Some of us more than us. <laughs> Oh, those more than others. Hubs pleads guilty. And so when you're eating anything that is greasy or sometimes lipstick or something like that, if it's got a grease base to it, then this Dawn soap, you guys probably know this, but again, I was clueless until an advanced age, but I found out about it. So for those of you that are, are new to adulthood and are just starting out and breaking out, I promise you guys want to get some, some Dawn detergent and I keep it underneath my kitchen sink, but I also keep it in my laundry room. So that is another indispensable item. And then I've got one more that's not necessarily indispensable, but gives me so much joy and it's my bonus product. Well, I have a few things that I can that I, I kind of categorize as just treats to myself. So when I have accomplished something or not so much when I'm down, but when I feel like I, I want to reward myself for something that I've gotten done as kind of a motivator, I will buy a little treat for myself. And one of those treats I buy for myself, you guys know that I am kind of obsessed with different colored leather gloves. And that's a category that I just love. My hands are always cold, whether it's the dead of winter or it's even just starting to get chilly out. Plus, as an accessory, I just think that they are wonderful and they're not really prohibitively expensive so you guys have seen my gold ones my definitely my red ones that Stuart and I love when we shoot in the snow that I've got my red ones I did get just a classic pair with that for that equestrian look of some brown ones but here you guys I just treated myself to these the other day after I finished a project I was working on I can't wait to show you guys these and I will put a link because you might want to gift somebody these 
before St. Patrick's Day. Aren't those <laughs> fun? And you can see these are the same brand as my yellow ones. I do get these off of Amazon. They are not expensive, but I just I just love these. And I think for St. Patrick's Day, they are they are so fun. Not that I would relegate them just to St. Patrick's Day. Definitely they would be fun around Christmas or whatever. So if you're somebody that that likes to give gifts for the minor holidays, the secondary holidays like St. Patrick's Day or St. Valentine's Day or whatever, then I highly recommend a pair of leather gloves like the earrings that I, hoop earrings that I showed you earlier. I consider them to be a signature wardrobe touch. I love them. They're fun. They make me happy and they also serve a very practical purpose. So maybe they're not indispensable like my other items, but they very much uh, give me joy and put a smile on my face. So there you go. Those are some of my indispensable and much used, much loved products in my life. Well, here you go. Here is your fashion epilogue for today in my outfit du jour. My earrings are some of those really inexpensive wooden earrings that you buy and you get like six or eight pair all at one time for like $12. Stuart, let's try to put a link to these. But I really like these because they're so lightweight and they're just kind of fun and, and modern. Um, my top is something that I got at the other day when I went to Old Navy. I bought some graphic tees and I bought this sweater. And it's interesting, you guys, because I know this kind of flounce on sweaters has, I've, I've seen it in a number of high-end stores. It's kind of trendy. So I, on trendy clothes, I don't spend a whole lot of money. But what I, I liked about this one is that the flounce was a lot lower on the arm. The ones that are up a little bit higher, I think, I, I'm very broad-shouldered anyway, and I think they made me make me kind of look like, I don't know, I don't know what. Uh, manly. So I like them when the flounce is a little bit lower. And this is just what I love about this sweater is it is so comfortable and it's so not itchy and it can be both warm and also kind of lightweight simultaneously. Uh, my britches are the same ones I had on the other day. These are H&M. They were a gift from my kiddos. I love wooden bangles, especially in the summer. And this assortment of wooden bangles came, I think, from Steinmart years ago. I'm not really sure, but I love wooden bangles, especially with that kind of gold appointment on them. And my shoes are Ugg booties that I got. Um, I can't remember. I've had them for years and years. So there you go. There's my outfit du jour.